Good morning and welcome to PLZ Soccer. This is your Scottish News Bulletin for Friday. Rangers delivered an impressive away performance in the Europa League last night as they beat FC Midgetland 4-2, leading manager Steven Gerrard to state his team has grown up. The Jers took an early three-goal lead. They suffered a second-half wobble as they conceded two, but put themselves within touching distance of the playoff round thanks to a fourth from Scott Arfield. We'll be hearing from Gerard before midday, so visit our Facebook and our Twitter to get more reaction from the game. The Europa League was not so kind to Aberdeen yesterday. They were beaten 2-0 in Croatia by HNK Rijeka. Despite an impressive start to the season, the Dons were below par. They face an uphill struggle to make it to the playoff round, a stage that manager Derek McInnes has never reached. Kieran Tierney said leaving Celtic was the hardest decision of his life and that he will always love the club. He was unveiled as Arsenal's new number three before yesterday's transfer deadline in England. Celtic released a statement claiming they wished to keep Tierney and did all they could to make him stay, but the player himself wanted to leave. Anyway, it has left the Parkhead club with a large sum of £25 million, so let's wait and see if the board reinvests the money. And the second game week in the top flight continues this weekend, but first there's a tasty tie between Parsnick Thistle and Dundee United at Fir Hill. Kickoff is 7.05 this evening. On Saturday, Celtic visit Motherwell before three other matches, and Sunday sees Rangers host Hibernian and Aberdeen take on St Mirren. The papers are of course covered in last night's Europa League action, as well as Tierney, the record have the ex-Celtic player apologising to the fans. The Sun's headline is, it all ends in tears. And the Daily Mail report that Celtic turned down a late bid from Brendan Rodgers' Leicester side for Callum McGregor. That's all from me this week. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, all the latest footballing news is online with us. And of course, we have the football show tonight, 5.30, Peter Ruffy and Barry Ferguson. Thank <laughs> you.